Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time and this video was actually filmed probably about a month ago um, and I'm just getting around to voiceovering it now. Um, apologies for the lack of videos. Um, yeah, I am getting back into the swing of it now. I'm just about to do my nails again now and I will be filming it so there will be another video very shortly. Um, so this set, I kind of didn't really know what I wanted to do until it was done basically. I knew that I wanted to use the Persian princess, um, which is the glitter fairy glitter that I just got in and I just wanted to pick the like cerise pink out of it and make that make a set out of it. Um, so the the pink colour that's on my pinky is from Glam and Glitz and it is Ashes of Roses. Um, and then I'm just going in with my Glitter Bells Clear acrylic um, and then tapping that princess glitter into the top. Um, so yeah, it was a very pink set. Um, I used some of the Mia Secrets acrylics as well, which I haven't used before. And this set was also um, sculpted. So that was my first time doing that and I've now pretty much switched to doing that only. Um, so on this now I'm just using this hot pink glitter which I think is from the Glitter Fairy as well. Um, so just going in with some a wet bead of clear, either picking up the glitter or sometimes it's just like placing it on the nail and then using my wet brush and patting that glitter in. Um, that kind of works better for me to keep the nail nice and thin. I did notice in this bit the lighting goes a bit funny. I think the white balance was having issues because there's so many colours in that hot pink glitter. Um, so that's all I can think is that it's just struggling with all of those pretty colours. This is a Mia Secret. I think this is from the Fruit Punch collection and it's called Raspberry. Um, and it was so hot on the day that I was doing these that it just kept setting up really quick, this colour. Uh, just not a formulation that I'm used to working with and it just wasn't a good day to try it out so it came out a bit lumpy in the end. Um, but I like the colour and we'll give it a go another time and see if I can make it work. See there it was setting up so quick I had to go out of frame to try and rescue it and then slap some more on. <laughs> so this is a Mia Secret cover pink and this is in cover beige. So again first time using it. I really like the colour, it's not too pink. Um, so this one I just did the cover beige as the nail bed and then kind of faded it out to a clear tip and then used the um, the princess glitter on the bottom. So kind of like a glitter fade but more like a glitter tip and I left it a bit translucent as well so you could see the clear underneath. Which I kind of wish I'd just done a full set of these to be honest because they were really pretty. It was like my favourite nail out of the whole set I think. of roses again and I believe I left this one plain I don't think I put any glitter over the top so 
a really pretty colour, it's a really rich pink but it's not mixed with a white, it's mixed with a clear, um, so it's kind of that translucent, so you can build it up if you want it to be a fuller colour, um, but it's quite nice as almost like a, like a stain on the nail, not, that sounds bad, but like a lipstick stain, it's not a fully opaque colour, I think it's pretty. So this is the Kira Sky No Wipe Top, so just putting this on all of the nails and then popping into the lamp. like it um, again apologies for the lack of a video I am gonna be filming my nails tonight so I hope to get that up tomorrow um, or probably next week sometime so yes stay tuned and I will be back very soon as always thank you for watching and make sure you like and subscribe for more videos see you later